I don't want you lifting, just holding it. Everybody got a good tight grip on that, on that rope? Do I hear yes? Yes. All right. Okay, let's see. Oh, I thought you said you had a tight grip on it. History came to life as Medicine Hat students raised a First Nations teepee at Police Point Park. This area here at Police Point Park actually is a native ground for the Blackfoot people. This was a, a basically a, a spring gathering ground for them. So we actually use a Blackfoot teepee. The event was part of a program called Home on the Move, and its focus was on the Blackfoot way of life. Children learned the tribe's respect for nature as the Blackfoot hunted and gathered for their very survival. It isn't just the teepee. The teepee is sort of a symbol. Because we, we start off with talking about the buffalo and how the buffalo was very important to the First Nation people. The fact that they used everything with, with the buffalo and how they were basically they were conservers of the land. They, they didn't just, uh, they would kill one buffalo because they needed one buffalo. <laughs> you can walk right through the teepee. Come on, guys. The bison provided the leather covering the teepee. In the Blackfoot culture, the owner of the teepee was the woman of the house. She had responsibility of creating, repairing, and moving it. There is plenty of interesting things to be learned. That boys sit on the right side of the teepee and girls sit on the left. So why did you find that interesting? Because I never knew that before. This type of hands-on learning is key in creating positive teaching experiences. It's important because it, it becomes imprinted on their memories and they will remember it for a lifetime. Uh, I don't know if you remember when you were a child and you did outdoor things like this and you probably remember them. You don't remember the reading and writing and things that you did in school, but you remember activities like this. From lifting tent poles to tying knots, the grade five and sixes were challenged to transition from individual learners to team members. They developed new skills, including group coordination, listening, and most importantly, teamwork. It was fun because we all got to work together and help each other. Police Point Park has more than 30 programs for kids, teens, and adults throughout the year to reconnect with nature and uncover our area's history. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm David G.